I'm going to begin, guys, by asking, I mean, this film really sort of taps into that sense of kind of limitless imagination we have when we're kids. I was just wondering if you guys ever remember coming up with any kind of creative and strange ideas when you, when you were younger. Oh, all the time. I think um, when I was younger, most people have imaginary friends growing up. I had imaginary enemies, which is weird. I had this imaginary <laughs> enemy called Hoopy Dart, and he was like a slime monster from the moon. I'm not even making this up either. This is legit. Uh, and I used to have dreams about him and he used to chase me and my sister and my granddad around an empty shopping center. This is like a genuine dream. And I used to, then I used to believe it was real. So I had wow. imaginary enemies, but I used to always like in my head think, oh, I haven't thought about him for a while. I need to send him back to the moon. Hoopy dots. Yeah, well, very weird. I used to, I used to uh, have a, a, a stick and I used to fight my, my trees in my garden. And I, actually looking back on it, it was probably terrible because those trees were providing oxygen Happy for my family. Yeah, I know, I'm very, I'm gonna plant more trees in, in, in hope of helping my younger self. Also fighting a tree with its own stick. Is kind <laughs> of no, yeah. that's really, it's like mm. taking off someone's arm and then smacking them with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still not as weird as Yeah, I shouldn't though. laugh at that. <laughs> um, and also, I mean, th another thing that this really taps into is that notion of sort of having your own theme park. I mean, there was even games, wasn't there? Like build your oh, own theme yeah. parks, which are great. Uh, what's your favorite ever ride at a theme park? Um, see, I'm not really a big theme park, even mm. though I'm in, you know, I'm in this film. Uh, it's that the theme park things do scare me a little bit. I do. I'm getting used to rides now, but I like an indoor roller coaster because I've got this thing where, like, even as a kid, putting my head out of a window of a moving car, that air in your face, you can't mm. breathe. So I think if I'm on a roller coaster for at least a minute, I've got to hold my breath for a minute. So you like indoor roller coasters? Indoor's fine. I can handle that just about. So any mm. indoor roller coaster I'm called, except for the one that drops. What's that called? I don't know what it's called. I don't want to know what it's called. It terrifies me. Just, uh, the lift one, you get in the lift oh, and it just drops. Oh, the t terror, yeah, Tower that, of Terror. Yeah, that, I never know no. the names of these things, but yeah, there's a Winter Wonderland that comes to London every year. That They have some crazy rides there that I really like. Yeah. So you only like them in the dark and the ones that don't go down. That's quite a niche kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, got a very like, peculiar <laughs> taste of roller coaster. Yeah. This seems whenever I've sort of done interviews, I've met sort of kind of really big sort of um, YouTubers and um, influencers and vloggers and stuff like that. You all seem to kind of really get on. And I just want is there a real kind of community? I mean, obviously outside of making movies and stuff, is it, do you guys sort of hang out a lot in real life and spend yeah. a lot of time I together? Think, I think everyone likes everyone except for Josh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like our our um, our jobs are basically based around when people say like, what sort of videos do you make? I just reply with, well, I hang out with my mates every day, and we just get up to what mates do basically and film it. Like the pranks that we do, it's all things that people do in universities, and do you know what I mean? It's that, and that's what it is. It's basically having fun with your mates. It, we're just lucky enough to say that it's also a job. So it is there is that real natural sort of chemistry between us all, and it is that good sort of mm. camaraderie of, you know, we're all in this together, we all started together. Um, it's such a new thing, so a lot of people are sort of confused by it and don't really get, understand it, so that actually then brings you close together as well, and mm. it's... But there are some bad apples, but yeah, we just... Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. But is it not sort of... Because like, obviously so much of it is based on kind of uh, numbers and subscribers, isn't it? I mean, is there ever a sense of kind of... Does it ever get slightly competitive? Like, hey, I've got six million, you're going, I've got 5.8, or is it not really like that at all? Uh, yeah. I think you're... The biggest... Com the most competition I've ever felt was kind of more with myself um, in terms of when you're doing it. You always want to do better. But then also, once you do it for as long as I've done it, you kind of start wanting to make the best possible content. And it's not really about the numbers. It's more about who's making the best content, especially with yourself. You, you kind of yeah. want to keep improving. Um, yeah, so, yeah, there's nothing worse when someone does... You see like a YouTuber that's done an idea that's on your idea slate, and you think, oh, it's a great idea, I need to do this. And like, a couple of weeks time and they, they bring it out and you're like, oh, that was, oh, that was such a good idea. Like, I had it in my head and now it's when I was doing it. But I mean, that, other than that, yeah, I don't, yeah. it's not Because numbers don't necessarily mean you're making the best stuff either. So. Yeah. I just, I just, obviously, I just want to quickly ask a question about Strictly because mm -hmm. it was great. Yeah. Who knew you could dance like that? that was, what was that whole experience it like was, for it, you? And also just very quickly, Casper as well afterwards, yeah. uh, if you could just say, what's the one reality TV show you think you'd be cool. best yeah. at? I think uh, it was such a, it was a big um, sort of, decision as well, because obviously Strictly is the biggest show on TV. It's, you know, it's uh, such a big thing, a lot of people watching it. Um, so I was very nervous to do it. Um, but then I knew going into it as well, I've never danced a step in my life. I knew that it was something difficult. I was going to struggle, but I was fully committed to it. And I, as soon as day one started, meeting everyone, meeting the pros, meeting everyone, even behind the scenes, like people on the cameras, the crew, it was such a nice family vibe. And it, it, I, I remember day one thinking, getting the car all the way back thinking, I never want this to end. I'm having so much fun. I need to make sure I make sure make the most of every single moment of this show. And uh, yeah, um, if I, uh, 
So you asked me if I wanted to go on a reality show. The only re Which one would you be best suited to? Do you think? Uh, I think I would be terrible at the ones... There's this reality show called Survivor in the US, uh, and I'd love oh, to yeah. go on that. I would. I don't know if I'd be great, really well suited to it, but I like to think I'm competitive enough to give it a good go. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time. Much mm. appreciated. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!